I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Bitch poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. Hey, what's going on, guys? So as you guys can see by the title, um, cow fight king. Um, it is now basically, well, it's always been a Slayer task, but it does work as a Slayer task, Calphite King. Um, I hope they don't fix this because it's not really too overpowered. It's just kind of fun and it brings Slayer, um, to a, I guess, a new level, but it's also, you know, still really good experience. Um, and good money, I guess you can say. So, um, basically, I'm going to say this task is probably the best task out there by far now. Um, not too great for charms, obviously, and stuff like that and for experience overall. Um, but it's definitely amazing for, uh, Slayer. You will get basically a one-to-one -one ratio with Slayer and attack experience from what I've experienced. Um, I'm actually, like, in, the, in this video right now, you guys will see me probably dying quite a bit. Um, this is kind of like, I mean, like, this, uh, this actual video I made, like, a week ago, but I'm doing my commentary, like, just now. Um, because I just wanted to see how much better I get at this. But, um, yeah, the background footage I do have for Catholic King right now that I, I actually have on my desktop... Um, I'm saving that for a little later on. I'm doing like a little video for like at least like a hundred plus Calphite King drops um, loot from it. But basically, how you get the experience from this Calphite King, guys, is yeah, the Slayer experience you will get is either seven thousand or fourteen thousand. It can be divided by two. Um, one way to get seven thousand experience is to hit the most on your team, um, and then the second way to get it is to get the last hit on the boss. Now, what you can do, this is what I do with my team now, um, after a little while of trying. Um, we basically, you know, keep killing the bo keep killing the boss, obviously. Then when it's kind of like almost about to die, uh, or like it's on a phase where it's like melee or range phase where I can just keep milling it. No, 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 nope. Oh my god, stutter. Uh, not too big of a deal. Um, then I will just ask them just to quickly go upstairs. If you right click the stairs, you click on exit, and then you can just rejoin in like two seconds. Um, and then yeah, basically I'll have the most hits. And then all I do, and then all they do is uh, they get off the boss whenever there's like a tiny bit of HP left. And then I'll either either use uh, Massacre uh, or Berserker uh, abilities, and then I'll just quickly KO it, and then I'll get the full Slayer experience. So um, yeah, I have figured out how to get full Slayer experience for it. Uh, you will want to hit the most, and you will also want to hit the last hit. Um, if you get one of those two, you will get half the experience, so it's like 7k experience. Um, so I've done this for about five plus hours this past day with a pretty damn good, decent team for manning it. Um, I mean, I, I guess you could make the Slayer task as fast as you really want if you go in, like, a really big group and you just, like, literally one-hit it for a long time. And then they just quickly go upstairs and leave and come back. Um, but, yeah, you will have to have a team that, you know, might want to be your friends kind of thing just because not all teams will go upstairs and come back down for you. Um, so I want to thank anyone that has done that for me in the past, or at least right now, even in the present. Um, that's a big help for me. It gets my Slayer experience up a lot faster. Besides, I would probably not be at this boss if my Slayer XP wasn't so great. But I do average at least 100k experience an hour. I've hit around 150k an hour for a little while. Sometimes I peak that even a little bit higher. It kind of depends on making sure that you always get the last hit and you hit the most. Um, if you do die, it's kind of the, the team normally kills it before you get back. Um, so that XP just completely goes to waste. Um, sometimes you will have a failed trip where everyone dies and then you, you go green and you're soloing it and then you die instantly. Um, but uh, yeah, for what I've done, five hours plus, I've gained around a little bit above 600k Slayer experience. Um, I personally enjoy a Slayer task. The only downside of it is is that you'll have to, like, I mean, you can't just, like, do a different Slayer task when there's nobody on doing Calphite King, right? I mean, I only do it with my friends right now. Um, I, we use Skype obviously because it makes it a lot easier. When you go green, you just call green instead of having to type and stuff because they're always using abilities and making sure you're not dying and stuff. Um, or you know, if it switches its faces to mage, the mage phase on this thing destroys you. I'm sure in this video, I probably got anal raped by this goddamn thing. Uh, but basically, what you can do, what I'm starting to do now, is you basically immediately it while it's maging you and you just take a few steps back, let those balls blow up. That kind of sounded wrong, but anyways, and then you go back to mealing it and you know, just make sure you don't get hit by the mage. Um, it will one hit KO you if, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it happened in this video. I'm not exactly, um, too confident in that before, but now it's quite easy. Um, just, if you, if you don't want to do that at all, just run around the room. That's what I used to do, like a little chicken. Just run all the way around the room, uh, like a hamster, I guess you can say, in a freaking, or a fish, trap, anything really that's trapped in a little area. Um, and just wait till it goes on either range or the melee phase, which is obviously a lot easier. Um, and yeah, from what I know, the melee phase, you could soul split it. You won't really get hit too much. If you do have Dragor weapons, you'll actually just, you know, gain HP and you won't lose any. So, um, yeah, that's kind of all I had to say about this boss. It is a very good experience, at least 100k plus an hour. Um, if you have a crazy ass team with like 8 plus people, I'm sure you can make this over 200k an hour. I've heard a high level forum post of saying this is 300k experience an hour. Um, that would be exactly 20 Calphite King kills in an hour. 
Um, and you'd always have to get the full Slayer experience. So it is very possible to get three minute kills with like eight people. Um, I think just today we had a three minute kill with four people. So it's really possible. And that's without Steel Titans because they still haven't fixed them. Uh, at least not that I'm aware of, or at least in the recording, uh, we definitely did not. Um, I use Unicorn and Pack Act and stuff like that. But yeah, Dropwise obviously makes a lot of money. And um, basically, uh, this is something else that, I mean, I'm, I'm basically going to be splitting the money I get from this uh, boss with my, you know, teammates because since I will get every last hit and, you know, I'll hit the most, I do get the drop as well, um, which means the little small drops here and there, it drops 200 onyx bolts, which is like 1.8 mil. So I, I take all those loots and I just split them because I mean, like, no matter what, I'm always going to get the small drops, which do add up normally for a lot of people that pays for the food and the bots. Um, so I feel it's only fair to split that with the team anyways, because I mean, I shouldn't really be getting all the drops because uh, you know, it's kind of an asshole move, but just for my Slayer experience, that's what they let me do. And um, yeah, it's kind of all I have to say. Uh, you can easily do it with a three-man team, but I just go, I mean, personally, I don't care if there's 10 people on the team, because I don't really, I'm not there for the money. I'm there for the experience and I guess kind of a little bit of enjoyment. Um, but I mean, it's up to you, I guess. I mean, most people don't want to go with eight people if they're a pretty good team, because uh, it just doesn't make a difference if they have six or eight. It's, just, it's hardly any better. Um, and it's a lot less to uh, they each receive. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you guys learned a little bit of sum sum. And uh, yeah, like I said, the downside of it is uh, when you have 200 cow fights to kill, which is a fuck lot of experience, you could basically get 2.8 million experience from that if you do it correctly the whole time. Um, I mean, that can take a few days, honestly. It's worth it completely. That sounds weird, like a, a few days to do my Slayer task, but you get 2.8 million Slayer. So if it takes you three days, um, that's, that's still pretty good. I mean, I, whenever I go pretty crazy hard mode i get like at least a mil a day um and if you can get you know 200 boss skills in three days and that's pretty good but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next video